On the Health Watch tonight, virtual reality is helping some children with autism. Kids who are higher functioning often have above average intelligence but can struggle socially. And Dr. Malika Marshall is here, of course. So, what's this technology doing? Video games. What kid doesn't like video games? I still so, like video games. <laughs> I know. We know all my kids <laughs> do, but this is a creative and fun way to teach kids who may have problems with social interaction important social skills. Hmm. How much did you see? Maddox Minx is using this virtual schoolyard to learn skills for the real world. I just feel like it's the right thing to do. The 12-year-old has high-functioning autism. Children like Maddox can be very intelligent, but have trouble when it comes to social interaction. He loves to join, loves to get involved, wants to be a part of the, the game, part of what's going on. But he was unsure all the time exactly how to work in there. A recent study at the Center for Brain Health in Dallas shows using virtual reality technology helps autistic children better understand emotions and intentions of others. We really can simulate these different relationships um, that the students are dealing with, and it's real life. It evokes those same emotions. Here, Maddox interacts with a classmate who wants to bully younger kids. It kind of sounds mean. Researchers give students instant feedback on how to respond in situations. It's very important that they understand and that they learn the skills on how to stand up for yourself, on how to recognize if somebody is being a good friend or a not so good friend. Maddox's father says the technology creates a safe space to learn. Through the training, he was able to kind of better figure out where people were, how to you know, read people a little better, and understand how to step into the situation. He hopes this virtual reality experience will help his son make good choices in real life. As you can imagine, the Center for Brain Health wants to expand access to its virtual reality training and have students in other parts of the country go through the training remotely. This is one of those examples where technology is actually helping kids interact as opposed to just being buried in the phone. Exactly. Very cool. Malika, thank you so much.